remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Memphis Burger King employee is making national headlines after she almost fired back literally at a disgruntled customer. Odario Moore Williams is being accused of pulling a gun on a customer after the customer complained about being charged too much for her order. The unidentified customer says that she pulled up in the drive through she had a problem with her order, so she pulled around to the front. And she said that's when the employees, four of them, came outside and confronted her. She made a move like she was trying to go for something, but the employee one-upped her and pulled out a gun for real. She said that's when she called the popos. Now, of course, there's two sides to every story. The employees say that the customer was irate, belligerent, came through, actually went inside of the restaurant, complaining about the order, talking tough, and one of the employees said, my boss asked her to leave. She would not leave. Odaria's co-workers are sticking by her side. They said that they did not see her pointing a gun at anyone. Nevertheless, Odaria was arrested and charged with aggravated assault. Who do y'all think is telling the truth? I don't think that they would just pull a gun on that woman for nothing. First of all, if you reach like you're reaching for a weapon, then it makes sense for somebody to pull out a gun if they have a weapon on them to get the ups on you. She's lucky she didn't get shot up because once you start reaching for a weapon, if you get an opportunity to point that weapon, then you pretty much done leveled the playing field. If somebody has the ups on you while you're reaching, it would probably be wise for them to uh, get off on you. Uh, I'm not trying to encourage anybody to go out there and just take life, but you know the first law of nature is self-preservation. So if I'm in a situation that's combative and somebody's reaching like they're reaching for a weapon and I got mine on me, I am probably going to pull it and put them down. That's just my thinking. Some of you guys are a little bit more lenient when it comes to conflict. Uh, I don't take chances. But I'm going to tell you all something. Over the last several months, well, actually a couple years or so, there have been story after story after story. Well, people going in on these restaurant workers, these fast food restaurant workers, and trying them. Fast food workers are not the ones to be played with. They're overworked, underpaid, and underappreciated. So many people come through those fast food restaurants looking down on the people that work at those places. And many people that go into the drive through don't know how to talk to people. Now, I understand that there are some fast food workers that don't know how to talk either. I got it. Especially in the drive through which is the absolute worst. You would think you would put your best person on the drive through as the person that's communicating with the public. You know, that's like uh, the first representation of you. You would think that they would be on the drive through because you got to have, uh, be able to communicate in that drive through You know, people talking, you know, uh, too low, too loud, people having a little attitude, getting their orders mixed up. So you got to have patience and you got to have just a little bit more patience when you're dealing with people in the drive through because you can't see somebody, you can't see the expression, somebody say something, you, you might take it out of context because you can't see the person's face, therefore you don't know what the intent are, uh, you don't know what the intent is. So, you know, people uh, t 
tend to act a fool from time to time in that drive through You got to have somebody that's really, really good working that drive through And also the people up in the front, the cashiers, you know, they got to be on that game. Oftentimes at fast food establishments, they're not, unless you go to somewhere like, what is it, uh, Krispy Kreme, even though that's just donuts, but it is fast food. Krispy Kreme, Boston Market, and Chick-fil-A, I think they got the absolute best fast food workers. They got a process that they use to hire people, unlike many of the other establishments. I guess they're, they're, they have a higher standard. Their boys raise higher. They just have excellent customer service. Whatever they do, they need to perhaps run some courses and charge uh, some of these other fast food establishments on how to hire people who act like they like their job at least. But some of these fast food workers, man, a lot of these fast food workers, you know, you come in there talking that tough talk, man, a lot of these people from the hood. And they, frankly, don't give a damn. I've said it once. I'll say it a thousand more times if I have to. Y'all better leave these fast food workers alone. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?